Hi everyone, yes, ask a Carlos Irsa there to another episode of Dimitro's Dishes. Today we're going to be making cod and pearl onions. It's a delicious stew. It's kind of like a combination of stifado and blaki. Those are two popular Greek dishes because of the pearl onions. But let me tell you a little bit about these onions. If you can find them peeled, a lot of times they're sold peeled and frozen buy them, pay extra, <laughs> it is totally worth it. My recipe called for two pounds of pearl onions, but it took an eternity to peel one pound, so that's what I was keeping it at. Oh my goodness, it's so frustrating, it takes forever. First of all, they're so tiny and delicate, you have to peel them really carefully. I know that there's a way to peel them by boiling them in water and then the peel supposedly slides off. I didn't try that, maybe it's worth the, the effort. I might try that next time, but honestly, Next time I'll just buy them frozen or already peeled because this is too much work. <laughs> anyway, once you peel the onions, the recipe moves so quickly. It comes together in under an hour, which makes it perfect for a weeknight meal, but it's also elegant enough to serve at a dinner party. Let's get started. All right, so once you peel these little devils, put them in a pot with about a quarter of a cup of olive oil and a heavy pinch of salt and cook them until they're nice and soft and golden over medium heat. That's gonna take about eight or nine minutes or so. You can go ahead, go in and mix them every now and then so that way they can you know, become golden all around evenly. I've peeled three garlic cloves. I'm just gonna add them in with about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Just warm the garlic through. Once the onions are cooked, uh, try not to move them around too much or mess with them so that way they don't fall apart. Next, you're gonna need about a cup of crushed tomatoes. I just have a can here that I've pureed in the blender. I'm gonna add a cup to this and I'm gonna freeze the rest. It stays fresh for a long time. I'm also gonna add two bay leaves to the sauce for flavor, a little more salt, black pepper. Oh my goodness, the balsamic vinegar made it smell amazing. A little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes if you like them. And because I'm using my balsamic dressing that's available in my shop, it already has some sweetener in it. It has the petimezi in there. So I'm not gonna add any sugar to the sauce. If you're using regular balsamic vinegar, you could add a tablespoon of honey or a pinch of sugar to sweeten the sauce just a little bit. But that's it, that's all you need for the sauce. You don't even have to cook it down anymore. Mm, that tastes so good. Okay. I have six cod fillets over here. This is two pounds of uh, cod that's been already skinned. I washed it, I rinsed it with cold water and I patted it dry. I'm just gonna pour all of this sauce on top. And because the cod doesn't have any seasoning on it, I am gonna season with a little pinch of salt over each fillet. And that's it, that barely took, what, 10 minutes of prep time minus the onion peeling. If you can find them already peeled, trust me, get them peeled. I'll stop talking about the onions. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna bake until the fish is fully cooked. That's gonna take about 30 minutes or so, depending on your oven. Keep an eye on the fish once it's nice and flaky. Take it out, let it rest a little bit, and then it'll be time to serve. If you want to, you could also chop up some olives and put them on top. That, those will go really well with the dish too. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. All right, so the fish was ready in 30 minutes, but like I said, keep an eye on it, and as soon as it's flaky and firm in the center, that's how you know it's done. Take it out of the oven and let it rest for about 10 minutes before you serve it. The sauce is gonna get to settle a little bit. The onions should be slightly caramelized. At least some of them might have a little bit of a char on them, and that just adds so much flavor. You could top this with some freshly chopped parsley, serve it with some lemon wedges to squeeze on top, and some toasted bread, and that's all you need. You could also serve this over pasta or rice. It's up to you. Time for the taste test. I'm gonna make sure I get an onion. Mm. So delicious, so rich. A lot of sweetness from those onions. Believe it or not, that balsamic vinegar left a little bit of a tanginess to the sauce. So good. Whole thing tastes amazing. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, dimitrosdishes.com. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you want to, you could switch out the fish for some salmon. It, same, same exact cooking temperature, same exact time. It's just gonna be so good. I hope you guys give it a try. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.